I always thought I'm not a gym person, I will never sign up to a gym and if I sign up I will never ever be consistent and here I am one year later hitting the gym consistently four times a week. Hey guys, it's Katie and today I want to talk about 10 things I learned in one year of going to the gym and yeah, let's start with the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you enjoy. Number one is that it is a learning curve. You can't expect to go to the gym and know everything right away, to have a perfect workout schedule. It takes time. You need to keep going to the gym, make mistakes. I know it's so awkward, but then you will learn and you will improve and you will stop making mistakes. So just be aware that you won't be a pro at the gym at the first day, probably not even the first month. I am not even a pro after a year and I don't say this to discourage you, but it's a constant learning curve. That's what I want to say with it. Don't try to be perfect, don't put too much pressure on yourself and be aware that everyone started somewhere. And that brings me to thing number two, which is it's also not an overnight thing, which means you won't see results the next day if you're going to the gym, maybe not even after a month. So if you really want to see results and you really want to have your dream body or you just want to be fit and healthy, whatever your goal is, if you're going to the gym, the gym is hard work dedication and discipline. You know, the difference between the people who see results and the ones who don't is that the people with the results, they are consistent. Even if they don't have any motivation to go, also go even if you don't have motivation to go because that's, that's what brings you the result. That when you don't want to go to the gym, you still go, okay? Thing number three that I learned is that it literally changes your life and I know it sounds dramatic but it is changing your life or it has changed my life. I have way more energy than I had before. I was always so tired at lunch or in the afternoon. Um, I mean I still have tired days, you know, I'm not a robot but it's way less than before. It actually made me feel feel more confident about myself, it made me feel so much better about myself, which is amazing because now I feel better, I don't know, in my whole life. I know it sounds weird. It gave me the confidence to start my YouTube channel that I've wanted to start for years, like literally years. <laughs> And now I finally started. I always had excuses why I can't go to the gym, that I don't have enough time or whatever it is. I thought I'm so busy with law school, no way I can go to a gym. But here I am, still going to the gym, making the time. Because if you want to go to the gym, you will have time, I promise you, okay? So find the time to go to the gym and let it change your life pretty much. Thing number four, nobody. Nobody cares what you're doing and I'm still learning on that. I know what it feels like if you're at the gym and you feel like everybody's staring at you. Um, I hate that feeling. I hate busy gyms still to this day because I'm still a little bit insecure. But what I want to share is I know that I'm not staring at anybody and so nobody stares at you. You always have to think that people, they all have their own life. They all have something going on. If anyone is creepy to stare at you, just go to another corner or I don't know stare back so just be aware that everyone is in their workout nobody cares what you're doing even if you're making a mistake maybe nobody even saw it most things are just in your head and if you're feeling very insecure just ask someone at the gym like someone who is training or just ask you know a trainer there and I'm sure everyone will help you people are usually really helpful at the gym at least in my experience. Because everyone knows how it's like to start. And if you're like me and you're too shy to ask, watch YouTube videos. I think that's the most helpful thing ever. Thing number five is to never, never, never ever go to the gym without a plan. The first time I went to the gym, by the way, if you want a story on the first time I ever went to the gym, which was a very awkward experience, let me know. First time I went to the gym, I had absolutely no plan what I was doing. I was just like, I'm just gonna go through the machines and, you know, have a look. Um, 
not a good idea. Still to this day, I see people at the gym that just do, I don't know, random stuff or they are on their phone. Make sure to have a workout that you want to do. If you want to see a video on how to make a, I don't know, workout schedule or something. For example, if you say today is Monday and Monday is leg day, at least for me, make sure you have a leg workout, you watch the video, whatever, and you know what you're doing. Take a screenshot of the exercises and then you go to the gym and you're prepared and you know exactly what you're doing. Thing number six is to focus on what you're doing. If you're on the phone, I see so many people, for example, on the abductor, that's a really bad one, on, on the abductor machine, you know, sitting on a machine with their phone and like honestly that won't give you any results if you're at the gym try to put your phone away like except for music and you know looking up the workouts but put your phone away and if you're doing the workout like for example if you do bicep curls focus on your bicep don't be with your mind i don't know where what you're eating for lunch focus on the muscle you're training this is so important if you're training legs if you're training your booty focus on the muscle that you're training because this will give you very fast and very good results if you're at the gym use that time wisely don't be one of those people who goes to the gym and waste their time by being on their phone you can waste your time later at home which brings me to the next thing number seven and that is form is more important than weights you don't have to lift heavy if you don't know which weights you need like when you're starting go for the lightest one or don't do any weight just do the exercise watch videos on the correct form practice at home and then you know what you're doing at the gym that's what i do number one you can hurt yourself if you have the wrong form i know that because my knees hurt and number two is you won't see the same results if you're doing the exercise wrong also a good tip is watch yourself in a mirror or ask a trainer there or film yourself or ask a friend you know because sometimes you don't see yourself but training in front of a mirror is honestly so life-changing thing number eight is you need to find a balance if you're going to the gym and you're always tired you're probably doing too much and if you go to the gym and you don't see any results i mean either you're impatient which i think is true for most people because you don't you know you expect your results after a week or you're not challenging yourself enough if you start going to the gym you will probably be tired in the beginning that's completely normal if you haven't been active before but after a while this feeling should go away I think people say like when you're doing reps the last two reps should be pretty difficult or very hard to finish but make sure to still have the correct form on your last two reps you will get a feel of it after a couple of months I promise thing number nine and that is for me the most important actually and that is that the gym does mentally more for me than it does physically um, I don't know what it is but I have had so many bad days and after going to the gym I felt so much better gym is something I usually look forward to which it's kind of like a treat for me which is so weird because I used to be like a super non-fit person I used to eat junk food all the time I didn't move at all but now I look forward to the gym I sit all day because I am studying for law school or I'm editing videos and going to the gym it's it's like a treat and I feel so much better it did and it still does mentally more for me than it ever ever will physically so it's like it's it's therapy it's so good for my mind i mean maybe it's different for you but for me and that is that is why it's also important to have a very healthy relationship with the gym if you want to see a video on that let me know i just go there to feel better i go there for myself because i want to do something for myself that's the best feeling i get from the gym taking time to do something for yourself because when do you ever do that i mean besides you know watching netflix and stuff like that and number 10 is to have fun i know there's so many things out there like you have to eat that way and you have to train that way and do these exercises if you want to grow booty and whatever it is have fun with it if you don't want to do certain exercise because you just hate it if you hate squats don't do them you don't have to do them do deadlifts or hip thrust or whatever it is have 
fun with what you're doing. Don't be too... I know fitness can be very overwhelming and so complicated and there's so much out there, so many facts, so, so much science, so much, so many people doing workout videos, nutrition videos, but at the end of the day it's about you, which workouts you enjoy. Find someone on Instagram or YouTube or wherever where you enjoy these workouts and also eat the food that you enjoy. Don't ever do something just because someone else does it. You know, just if it works for them doesn't mean it has to work for you. So just have fun because at the end of the day, you're doing this for you and nobody else. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos on fitness, let me know which videos you want to see. If you want to see a whole maybe like beginner series, I don't know, like this video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, follow me on my socials if you want to see more of me and more maybe of going to the gym, what I eat and my everyday life pretty much, my dog. <laughs> yeah, and other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!